Tonight, the Get Garcia team gets results for a bunny abandoned in downtown Los Angeles left behind by a seller during Anna's investigation into illegal animal sales in the fashion district last summer. Might have been the best thing that happened to that bunny. <laughs> Anna is here with an update. And Anna, how's it doing? Oh, my goodness. Her name is Maybelline. I know she was named Maybelline by one of our Facebook fans because she looked like she was wearing a little bit of eyeliner. <laughs> All right, so Maybelline is doing just great. She is now four and a half months old, full grown, and ready for a forever home. She spayed, and today she's in great health, but that was not the case last summer. I thought she was going to die at first. I mean, she was very, very little. We rushed a very weak and hungry Maybelline to Leila Hazamorosevich, who heads the rabbit rescue group known as Bunny World Foundation. We want to talk to you about these rabbits. The rabbit seller abandoned her when I tried to question him about his illegal activity. You've got sick rabbits. Why are you running away? Like most of the bunnies for sale in the fashion district, Maybelline was just days old, too young to be weaned. Layla and her comrades literally nursed her back to health. Today, Maybelline is thriving. Her caretakers say she's sweet, affectionate, and loves to kiss. Thank you for saving her life. Aww. Aw, she's so cute. Maybelline has been raised with three other rabbits and has apparently become pretty attached to them. So Layla is hoping that someone will adopt the whole family. That's four rabbits. Bunny World Foundation has rescued nearly 3,000 bunnies from the fashion district alone. For more information on how to adopt Maybelline and see all of my other reports on the illegal bunny sales, go to NBCLA.com and search Get Garcia. Now, our investigation into illegal animal trafficking downtown sparked an email from the LAPD that reads in part, this story could be a black eye for us. It was an email that they didn't mean for us to see tonight on NBC4 News at 11, how they proposed changing the way they police because we were watching. And it was really uh -huh. about all these different people not coordinating with each other, these different departments and such. Exactly. It is. As you saw, you know, some people have criminal records. Some people are here illegally. We've seen it all. And this email is really interesting because it does bring up the question, are we policing for the cameras? You know, last summer you got those signs put up. They haven't worked at all. No, they? because the, the print is really tiny and they're eight feet up in the air. Really hard to read. All right. Thank you very okay. much, Anna. See you in a little bit then. Yeah.